For those of you guys that might know, Ranked Season 2 is up. You can see the rules right here. Um, it basically just says that, you know, the Ranked Ladder is up for January to February, and, you know, you can use all of these eligible Pokemon, and none of the Pokemon have actually changed between Season 1 and Season 2. You can't use Charizard, you can't use Cinderace, and you see all those Paradox Pokemon are grayed out. It's the exact same rule as we had in December. But, there is something that just recently got announced called Series 2. You can see this by changing your uh, notifications or the, the news area to Japanese. And you can see it right here. Series 2 is going to be a little bit different. This starts on February 1st. So it starts right when Season 2 ends. And the eligible Pokemon, if you check it out here, if you check it out here, there are some changes here. I still think you can't use Charizard and Cinderace, but... You can see on the bottom that you can use the Paradox Pokemon. So, starting in February, we're going to be able to use the Paradox Pokemon in competitive ranked VGC and 3v3 singles battles. Now, that is really cool, and that's mostly really cool. I, I think that it's cool that we can use more Pokemon. I think it's cool that they're slightly changing the rules. The only gripe I have about this is that this has been announced. I'm recording this on the 6th of January. There's absolutely, positively, no reason to play ranked in January at all whatsoever, in my opinion. Because um, we, we know that this is the format we're going to have for two months, so like, why, why beat a dead horse? You know, why, why continue to grind in, in January? You can also see if we go to Season 2, like, these are the rewards that you get, you know? What, you want to get a, a PP Max? A gold bottle cap? A thousand league points? A hundred thousand league points? You know, like, those rewards aren't worth like, heavily dedicating to build for a format. Also, like, unless you're going to any of the, like, I think two regionals that are happening in Season 1, there's, all the regionals you'll be going to are Season 2 or Season 3. So, I personally feel that there's no real reason to play ranked anymore in January. That's just my personal opinion. And that if you want to actually be a better player, you're going to be better off for the long run preparing for season two, because these paradox Pokemon are going to be legal probably for the rest of the season after this, I would assume, um, as well as like maybe any Pokemon home changes or anything like that coming to the table. So I realistically think you should be building around these paradox Pokemon. Um, but that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Let's open it up. Let's open it up to the uh, chat. What do you guys think? If you were if you were someone that wanted to improve, like what kind of content do you want to see? Do you want to still see people playing Series 1? Do you want to still see people playing Series 2? Let's set a poll. There. Poll's going up somewhere. There it is. Vote on the poll. So many people. Yo, that, that's a huge percent. Oh my gosh. So 70, 81% of the people are saying Series 2. So you see what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll vote to you. Here we go. Like, if you were a consumer of content, why would you choose to watch something that's like already outdated like why what there's not a single reason to play series one now that we know what's replacing it and it's going to be legal for a longer period of time and is a better reflection of the meta moving forward so it's just really crazy that they're like hey play ranked by the way your rewards suck and have fun i mean there's nothing wrong with series one if you don't like paradox mons go for it but i i would say that almost everyone the vast majority are going to be people that want to use new mons in new ways and be creative and fun. They want fun new stuff as opposed to like the old and bust. Right. So we're going into our first series two battle. We have Iron Thorn and Fluttermane. We got the bros. That Scizor is going to be a big bully. But let's think about what we want to do to deal with it. There's nothing really wrong with Garchomp here. I think Garchomp Fluttermane's probably okay. Talonflame is really good, actually. We're going to go Garchomp Talonflame. And then we're going to clean up with, like, Titar and Iron Thorns. I think Iron Thorns can be really, really good here if used correctly. So I'm going to try that. And I don't really want to bring, like, the Lycan Rock or the Fluttermane just because of the Scizor. All right, let's go. Let's go. So for those guys that don't know, we need a refresher. Uh, Series 2 starts on February 1st. It's different from Season 2, which is active right now. Season 2, the ranked ladder that you can play right now, is the exact same rules as Season 1. So the same rules we had in December. No Paradox Pokemon legal. But starting on February 1st, you can use Paradox Pokemon. So what we're doing right now is we're playing games, testing teams that use those Pokemon. This is EQ City. Tailwind EQ City, baby! Let's go EQ. We're gonna double dip this. And, uh, pop that big tailwind. 
We don't need to double dip this, though. Yes, we do. There's a reason we need to double dip it. I always call it double dipping. Like, is that, is that, is that me? Like, you know, when you, when you get, like, a stab, which is your stab on your EQ, and then you get, like, ground terror to get that double stab, right? They brought six mods. Dude, I don't even care, bro. I'm still gonna win. This is on Link Battle. This is the only way to actually test for this format right now. I call it double dipping, because you get your ground terra, and then you, you, like, get an additional boost on your ground terra. Think Paradox Pokemon will change much? Yes, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeet! Bruh, you better not curse body me. Dude! Unlucky! <laughs> nice ground terra, right? <laughs> yep, they're gonna be allowing uh, Paradox Pokemon- The Rage Quit! Paradox Pokemon will be allowed in Series 2 starting on February 1st, one day after my birthday. Sun with Satitan. Okay. I wonder if that's a thick fat Satitan. Um, we definitely can go Fluttermane here. I think I like Fluttermane Garchomp here. I don't see a problem with this. Fluttermane and Garchomp's good. And if they want to open up with some Sun Strats, I think Titar's still good. I think we'll bring the Iron Thorns in the back, too. I think Iron Thorns... Like, Lycanroc's definitely better, but Iron Thorns is way cooler, so we're gonna bring it. Let's go. We're in both our Paradox Mons. Let's see how this one works. How did yesterday's team go? Always good. Always good. Let's see what we get here. If they lead Lily Cole, I can just pivot in T-Tar. If they lead... Um, some sort of fake-out strat, I just... Go in prison. Yeah, Torkoal and Orn Guru, that's in prison. That's EQ in prison, baby! Why well, Talonflame over the other Tailwind setters? Uh, priority. That's it, basically. Dude, we got a Protosynthesis! Yo! Let's go! Speed boosted, boys! Thanks for the boost, buddy. Alright, we're gonna double dip. EQ, EQ, baby! And, uh, we just go for the imprison, like it's safer. Yep. Cool. Nice trick room. For speed threats like Fluttermane, do you think it's better to build a counter to outspeed it or better to focus on speed control like Tailwind? Both. It depends on what team you're using, you know? You may be thinking, that's a don't click earthquake. Your Fluttermane will get hit. Air balloon. Air balloon. So big imprisons up. What I really liked about this lead before when I liked pairing with Scarf Chomp is when I got Protosynthesis against Torkoal Leads 2, it would disguise the fact that my, my Chomp was Scarf because I also had a speed boost on my uh, Fluttermane. But this Chomp's Bright Powder, so it doesn't matter. But Orangru is going to take a lot. And he's not going to be able to Trick Room. And we, we're not trying to KO the Orangru here, like, at all. We just seal the Trick Room, and now we can just go for, like, EQ, EQ, baby! And uh, a little bit of D-Gleams. Don't need a Shadow Ball or anything. D-Gleams fine. This guy's like, bruh. Bruh. The, the future that Trick Room users hate. Dude, the Terra. Are you fired? Are you ground Terra Torkoal? Or uh, fly, flying Terra Torkoal? Sorry. Dude, are you though? No way. No, dude. This guy's angry. He woke up and chose violence. Okay. d -gleam. Decent damage. It puts the own Guru within range of the Earthquake for sure. The EQ comes in. <sighs> Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Done! He didn't realize it. You're right! Yeah, he, yeah, actually, you're right! Yeah, he thought he got Trick Room up! <laughs> that makes sense why he did that. Bruh. Fluttermane, it's like you never left, my friend. It just feels so good. It just feels so good. Shiny Satitan is sick. It's gonna die, but it's sick. Lilligant? I'll just pivot in T-Tar. Hariyama. You could fake up my Garchomp if you want it, buddy. It's absolutely, positively fine. You could Wide Guard me, too. Um, I'm actually just gonna go Shadow Ball into the Hari slot. To block Wide Guard. Shadow Ball. Oh, dude. No Wide Guards or Fake Outs, bro. You're Hariyama's Hari Dunzo. QBQ, baby! Dude, Garchomp is so sick, man. Big damage. Oh, my gosh. 
and we're gonna get it. What are you using over here? Ice spinner? Icicle crash. Liquidation in the sun, bro. I don't know about that one, Chief. How about a little bit of a uh, damage? Can we take those wins? Dude, I love it. I love it. I love that these Paradox Pokemon are legal because there's a reason to go like shiny hunt them, build teams around them. Like it just opens up the decks to have more Pokemon legal. And I think there is a lot of power creep that comes with them, but having them a part of the game, as opposed to like not a part of the game, is something I'm definitely excited about. So uh, we take those wins. Definitely my favorite in Prison Mon for sure. Yeah, I think the Paradox Mons are very polarizing, but I like a lot of the Paradox Mons. And I feel that like having them not a part of the game basically makes the game itself really shallow. So I'm happy that they're here. Arbro Leva! Dozo! Dude, that, where's, the, where's the Tatsu, bro? How do we deal with this? Um, I definitely think that Talonflame is amazing here. You can just Brave Bird out against a lot of those. And I don't hate Garchomp. I think Garchomp Talonflame is just an amazing lead in itself. And then realistically, I I don't hate Iron Thorns here. I think Iron Thorns can be a great addition to this team. I'll just spend the T-Tar in the back. T-Tar, baby! Let's go. All right. Let's go. So this is the first, I guess this is the first actual, actual game that we're playing for this format. <laughs> the last one uh, didn't really count. We got that big rage quit. I think I might have to adjust my singles team. Oh, it's not even going to, you need a whole new singles team. There's no reason to like, your singles team was made to not even bring into account. Um, you're talking about the Haxorus Corviknight team. It was made to not even have to think about these Pokemon. Now that these are in the game, it's all the features change, all the EVs change. It's a completely different team. So let's think about what we want to do here. We can trade Tailwinds, and then that Arboliva. I don't. I've never really fought against that thing before. I kind of want to just Brave Bird it. Like kinda. I want to Rock Slide and just go for like a big Brave Bird into it. I know we don't get our Tailwind up, but I think that's fine. Let's see what they want to do. There's something weird going on here. I wouldn't be surprised to like a Minimize Strat. I would not be surprised to see some sort of Minimize. But thank you, Asakado, dropping the big sub. Appreciate it. Four months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, any team that you'd be using for like Series 1 is basically gutted. Uh, you need to completely make a whole new team for Series 2. And so what I would actually do if I were you guys, I'd be going back and seeing like what content creators were using back before we knew what the Season 1 rules were. You know, I personally top cut uh, a big tournament with like a cool Flutter main Garchomp Sand team. And that's kind of like what I'm using today. You see that damage, bro? Dude, oh my gosh. That's so much damage. There you go. I used this well his team in season one and got to master. Dude, I'm, I'm proud of you. Well, all teams you fixed here uh, have to change next season because of Paradox. Yep, they're going to be whole new teams. Like, there won't even be like the same thing at all. At all. What are you using? Are you trick rooming me with that, that, uh, minimize? I knew it. Oh, wait, why are you so fast? Wait, what? Did he already? I didn't see him get a uh, boost. Dude, this is going to actually suck. Minimize my guys. Dozo Bozo. We don't need a Tailwind. I think I'm just going to go for a Flare Blitz into that slot. And then hopefully we have enough tools to break the Dozo in the back. But like, ugh. Frustrating. It was Grassy Seed. Okay, cool. I, di I didn't see it activate. That was good tech. I guess I should just nuke the Driplum, I think, with Talonflame. This Flare Blitz would still do a lot of damage, by the way. Like, a lot. Like, a, like a lot, a lot. Minimize. Dude! Never lucky. Never lucky, bro! Fisher, bro! At least you didn't hit me with the fucking Fisher, bro. <laughs> what the hell? You went for the Fisher! Not like this, chat. Alright, so, like, they can actually start doing a lot of stuff to us. I want to see what the Drift Lum does. I wouldn't be surprised if they want to do something weird, but, like, let's just see if they have, like, Shadow Ball or something. If they will, it's fine. We want to use Thunder Wave. Or, will Wisp, sorry. Sub. Bro, this is the worst game ever! Dude, this is the worst, man! This is the most toxic game! Fuck, man, dude, we are so boned. Dude! Unlucky, man! 
Look at this. This is like the worst freaking thing. Oh my gosh. Dude, never lucky out here. What even is this? Minimize sub drift flim. Uh, dude, it's gonna baton pass. Like, it's going to baton pass to probably like Espathra. Minimize again! The third minimize! Damn, dude. He probably has a bright pattern. He has, he has the, uh, that's a miss. Wait, one more shot here. Do we just double miss Rock Slide? At least we hit the Dozo Bozo, right? He can take out the T-Tar, it's fine. Yeah, we're just bringing Garchomp. Let's see, what else do we, I, like, where's my Haze user, bro? <laughs> That's the thing, is like, Minimize is really fun, but like, there's, Haze is too popular in the format to actually make it work. And that, that sub makes this like, impossible to break. I don't know if he can actually hit Town Flame very well though. Like, Body Press doesn't do that much. Yeah, just go with this. Best play we got. If we can get the drip off the board, we can win, but like, we'll see. Pretty lame game, though. The Tom Pass, there it is. Like, we knew it was there. We 100% knew it was there. So if we can somehow break the sub and get the KO on that thing, like, ugh. I don't think it'll be on Pokemon Day. This path, right? Vivalon, bro! Bro, really? Dude, Rock Slide City out here if we can actually hit. Oh my god, never lucky. At least we're hitting on the Dozo Bozo. I swear to god, if you fisher me, like, unlucky. Because I... <laughs> Okay. We just gotta get the Vivalon off the board. I think it's a Seed Sower, like, a Grassy Terrain, or, like, a Terrain Extender on that thing, too. Like, it's been, it's been Grass Terrain for a while. Alright. I mean, if we double hit, you're done. If we double hit, you're done. No, we hit! Finally! Sub down! Watch, he's gonna miss a compoundized boost. He's gonna miss a compoundized move. He's gonna do it. He's gonna miss a compoundized boosted move. Into my Garchomp. Miss that spore, buddy. Quiver. Okay. I see you. Tom Flame might still be outspeeding this thing. You swear. You can't hit me with Fisher. You can't hit me with Fisher. That's a flinch. Alright. This is it, boys. Do it. Let's go. It's better to flare blitz here in case they tear into something weird. Like if you tear a steel to block my rock slide. Not that it would, but like I think flare blitz is just better in that situation. Where's haze? I know, right? Where's that haze for days? Flare blitz, big miss. Rock slide, big miss. Dude, never lucky, bro. That was our last shot, I think. Realistically, that's probably because it's probably gonna quiver again. Sub. Dude, how many- what the- there's so many subs, man! I'm so unlucky. There's another flinch, though. I'm- I'm kinda lucky. What is this game, dude? What even is this game? Sub lefties Vivalon. Sub does not block sand chip. Brave Bird hits sub- alright, dude, if this rock slide hits, we are here! If this rock slide hits, we are raining true, baby. Let's go. Come on, come on. No! Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Oh, the double miss. That really hurt, bro. Another quiver, dude. I'm so sad. He's just going to keep subbing, bro. 
Uh, never look. You should just hit the town flame with body press, Fisher. Thank God, dude. He just <laughs> what is this board, man? Okay. I want that bozo gone, and then I'm gonna lose the town flame, and then bring out my uh, T tar and just get it so it's just Bivalon versus Garchomp. Yep, you're gonna sub. Probably not gonna be able to hit it, but it's fine. Cool. It's Rocky Helmet, too. Didn't know that. It's fine, though. As long as we hit it, like, we really would have liked to hit it last turn. Rock Slide misses, obviously. Like, you can't hit the Vivalon, so, like, just ignore it for now. Double Miss Rock Slide again? That's two turns of Double Miss Rock Slide! Two turns of Double Miss Rock Slide, bro. Ugh. Alright. We have the T-Tar, though. Okay. You guys ready? Iron Thorns! About to be making plays for days out here. Double dip. Yeah, we should be able to get the Dozo off the board. And then we should be able to pin the Drift Blim, too. And so it should be just these two versus Vivalon. It has a plus two, but, like, bro, leave me alone! I believe in Thorns. Let's go! Let's go, my boy! Come on, show the power of Paradox Pokemon. Turn the tide of battle. Do it for me! Sleep Powder, bro. Nuh-uh. Nah, fam. You're gonna miss that, bro! Never lucky, okay. You hit my Garchomp with those, which has a bright powder, never lucky. Alright. Thank you for the sub, appreciate it. Alright, Rock Slide, let's go! The double hit Rock Slide Paradox Pokemon make a place for days! Yes! Dozo Bozo, down for the count. You're gonna sleep powder me and go for another Minimize, I think. But like, that's one sub down. Or, yeah, you're gonna have to resub this turn, which means you shouldn't be sleep powdering. But if you do sleep powder and I wake up and hit it with Rock Slide, like. We're one rock slide away from getting wins up in this game. We're one rock slide. And that compound eyes boosted sleep powder can miss. I've missed it before. Thank you though for the sub. Appreciate it. Dude, we got this. We got this, dude. Easy. Easiest win of my life. Gotta have faith. I wish I had PP max on these rock slides. Come on, come on. Resubbing? If you resub, you lose your drift blimp. They might just try and kill me, though. They might just, like, bug buzz me, dude. <laughs> sleep powder? Can miss. Never lucky. All right, Garchomp, wake up, oh! Garchomp! One turn sleep? Come on, Garchomp. Come on, do it for me, buddy. Set your alarm. Come on, Garchomp! Oh, oh it's gonna minimize, though, bro. Bro! Oh, not like this, bro. Oh, dude, come on. Oh, dude, never lucky. That was my last, that was my, like, one turn. I guess I can get a one turn sleep on the T-Tar. They're gonna sub here. Like, if they sub, like, we actually still can just double wake up and go pop. Right? Come on, dude. I, I, I know we can do this. Just don't three turn sleep me, bro. Iron Throne wakes up! T-Tar! Rock slide! Double hits! Let's go! Oh my gosh, dude, come on, come on, dude. Drift Wimp! Out of here! Like, that's all I really needed was the Drift Blim to get out of here, bro. You know, there's a move that isn't blocked by, uh... That doesn't check accuracy. And that's Struggle. Come on, Garchomp! Come on, Garchomp! Wake up, Garchomp! Let's go! Rock Slide! Rock Slide! Ah, oh, so close, bro! So close! Oh, dude, having to hit with these Rock Slides is actually just freaking killing me, bro. Because, like, it's already not that accurate. We're gonna mix it up and use Dragon Claw here. Because it'll still hit. But yeah, my Iron T-Tar guy might have to struggle. Come on, Garchomp! Come on, Garchomp! Just hit, bro! Come on. Wapa. Dragon Claw! Ooh. Oh, let's go! It's, it's two on a sub! It's two on a sub! Yo! Dude, coming back. Coming back. Coming back, though. Coming back though. We actually drop a protect here and wait for T-Tar to wake up. Cause you can't sub this turn. You're gonna go for a bug buzz or a sleep powder. 
Let's do this, come on! Terrastalize the late game Terra, bro! Dude, we got this, man, we got this. Flying Terra. They're losing some of that weakness. Let's see what's protect here. I wouldn't be surprised. Hurricane, bro! Blocked! That can actually miss. We got Bright Powders still. Wake up! Rock Slide! Rock Slide! I've hit all the Rock Slides on these guys! Okay, dude, we're, we're, we're putting ourselves in a good spot here, though. We are, because you could only sleep one. You could only sleep one. These one-turn sleeps are coming in hot. Dragon Claw! And eventually I can just struggle his ass. Dude, that's the thing. Sleep Powder? Yo, keep going after the one that's not using 100% accuracy moves. Garchomp! My guy! My boy! My shining star. Let's go. Come on, come on. Oh, dude, never lucky. It's gonna sub this turn, so we just stay in attack. Dude, we've had so many chances, man. We've had so many shots. Hurricane. Dude, they hit me through my right, through my bright powder. Oh, they hit the T-Tar. Are we dead? No way. Ooh. Wake up! Let's go! Rock slide! Dude, come on! I need this! Come on, I need this, man! I need this so bad! Why does this keep happening to me? Dude, what is this RNG? It's so bad! I just need to hit with one move and he's done zoned. Ugh. This match is like a glass case of emotion roller coaster. There's the sub. It should have been doing that the whole time. Now I need to hit with two. Rock slide misses. Double miss, bro. Ah, oh, we're gonna lose. Yeah, we lose. I think. Dude, we tried so hard and got so far. And in the end, we just get hit by Hurricane and lose. Hit my Garchomp this time, I hit the T-Tar. Hit the Garchomp, wow. Yeah, we lose. Through my, through my Bright Powder. This is the future that Series 2 offers people. Nah, it's fine. We just got really, really unlucky this game. I think we hit with five moves out of like all of them. Uh, maybe I should have locked myself into like wild charge or something because it's just a little bit more accurate. Like I can't switch uh, Future don't look so good dude. I know right I Think we could fight him again though. There's probably not that many people playing on the ladder, so like I'll get my run back and I think there's a couple ways we can actually beat this Yep Tom is good here. I think Tom Flame's great check to like Skull Villain. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I don't hate Garchomp here. I kind of want to bring Iron Thorns though. No, I don't like Iron Thorns versus the Garchomp as much. Maybe Iron Thorn. Maybe Tom Flame Flutter. I think it's actually a pretty decent lead. And then we'll pivot in like mid game of like Garchomp Titar. Cool. I like that. So let's see. I'm excited for this. I think this could go really well. Is Talonflame good in singles? It's okay. I think Talonflame gets a little bit worse in singles every single gen, but it's still usable. Oh yeah, Iron Moth. That's another Pokemon that's going to be legal. That's a good one. Yeah, Talonflame's okay in singles. All right, I'm a Driplim. All right, Driplim. I'm done with your shenanigans, okay? I'm done with your shenanigans, Driplim. Take out in the town flame? Absolutely fine. Can't do anything about it. I guess I could have protected, but I don't think you need to. Almost gets the KO. Are you minimizing me, bro? Citrus? I swear. Are you actually like a citrus or a pinch? No way. Citrus and then you get an unburdened proc and you're minimizing? Like, oh my gosh. Not like this. Not like this. Trick room. Okay. Let's think about what we want to do here then. That's actually really, really bad. That's probably game. 
Uh. Just trick him it back. Try to trick him it back. I think they're going to attack the Town Flame, and I think they're going to attack the Flutter, but we'll see how they want to do it. We don't want Town Flame going down yet. We need to, like, repin a couple of those guys. You fade me, bro? Headlong Rush! Air Balloon! <laughs> bro! Gotta click that. Gotta get that. Your eyes checked, man. This guy's like, what? You thought we were pivoting the T-Tar. That's why they did that. Nice trick room. Nice trick room. Bro. That's sick. Now what you gonna do, huh? Thought you were some hot stuff back there. Do we love to see that? That's sick. He's like, what? <laughs> I got a trick room. I'm the sun player. That means I win, okay? <laughs> he couldn't close combat. He, could, he would have had to knock off. And I don't know if knock off would have okayed uh, Slitherwing or Flutterman. So let's see what they got. Y'all remember when uh, Town Flame's Gale Wings was permanent no matter what its health was? It's almost 10 years old. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Dude, he's big thinking. Big thinking. Reading is a great skill. It is a skill. You gotta develop it. You gotta practice it. You gotta hone it. It's some would call it the fundamentals. All right, cool. Dunzo Trick Room Setter. We should be able to Oko this Hariyama. We're orbed. Like we do a lot. What am I drinking? Coffee. Just coffee. Dunzo, bro. I overrub one time in a costume game. That happens. Talonflame still holding on by a thread. I bet they really thought I was going to tail in that first turn, too. I wouldn't have even fake out the Talonflame. I just would have ignored it. Garchomp, bro. Okay. We outspeed there. And Torkoal. Nice. Uh, I will Tailwind. There's no reason to do anything weird with Town Flame. We'll pop the Tailwind, pop a D-Gleam, do some good damage, see if they Terra, and then pin with our Guard Trump teacher on the back. I still have an Air Balloon, bro. <laughs> they tried to... Okay, the... The cancel. They read that time. We take those wins. It's hard to bring... It's hard to bring uh, Flutter to fight against some of those, but, like, I don't hate Flutter versus Pulp. I know it sounds really weird. But I like Flutter vs. Pult. I think Talonflame's still a decent enough lead to bring. Talonflame's okay. Garchomp's like not even bad. I just don't want to get intimidated on that slot. I think I'm going to bring Talonflame Iron Thorns and go Garchomp T-Tar in the back. And we're gonna go for like a mixture of like protect volt switches. I think I think Iron Thorns is the key to rain. It is gonna be actually hard to fight that power in the back. Our whole freaking team is weak to water. <laughs> He's gonna just jet punch us till the cows come home, bro. I think our T-Tar might not get KO'd, but like we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. That Palafin though is gonna mess us up. I wonder if they're scarfed too. They are scarfed, and they want to lead the Palafin and go for a flip turn. That's super greedy, because we can just like one shot it with Titar. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try it. I know they're flip turning, but like, if you the right play is for them to actually hard switch out that Palafin. It the right play is for them to hard switch it, because like this would just KO it. Bro, just hard switch it. Don't get greedy. Don't. I'm trying to help you out here. Some advice would be nice. There's, there's like multiple reasons you want to do it. Because like, first of all, I could also just, if you're going for a flip turn, I could just Gale Wings Brave Bird crit you and you could die there. You don't want that either. I think like there's nothing wrong with like Scizor Protect. Okay, here well, you know, we're going to see what happens here. Okay, like Scizor Protect to block the fire slash like Will-O-Wisp and just hard switch to an Amoongus and like you're in a good spot. 
Because you get your Palafin active and you're good to go. But in this case scenario, a little bit, little bit not the greatest. But hey, you know, go for it. U turns up. Decent damage. But we have up the Tailwind. That's like huge. And our Talflame still has Gale Wings. That's so big. They're planning to re bring out that Palafin like right there in the greediest way possible. Can't be that greedy. Yep. Dragapult. Okay. Let's go. I don't know how to get the different fields. I mean, it just happens. Scizor. Okay. Bullet Punch shouldn't KO my Tyranitar. It really shouldn't. We have the Flare Blitz into the Scizor, but we're not going to take the bait. We're just going to go, actually. What's the last Mon, then? It's not Arcanine that would have brought it. Don't need to double dip. Garchomp's better with the EQ stab. Go. Cool. They always tunnel on the flip turn. Yep, you gotta hard switch it sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta take the L and hard switch. They could have hard switched out and done that U-turn and had a really good play of a Moongus Palafin. You see how like set they would have been? Like, oh my gosh, that would have been really, really hard to deal with for me. Let's see. Almost got the KO, but I think it's Sash anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I can't believe that scissor, we're just gonna eat this. Don't kill me, bro. 3 HP, baby! We hold on! Yes! Show me Pelipper! So we don't bring out T-Tar here, you bring out Garchomp and switch in if you have to. That way we can like switch in and still fly, uh, fire, uh, fire, bleh, boy blitz the scissor. <laughs> All right. So we bring out Garchomp first. And if we have to, we switch out the Garchomp for T-Tar. Show me Pelipper. Oh, yes. Am I, am I attending any upcoming tournaments? I tried to get into all the regionals I could, but they're already all full. So now we just pivot out. FB, baby. And if they make a redraw here and go like protect Scizor and do something else, like I just have Garchomp, T-Tar in the back, and we're good to go. This guy could have had it all. He could have had it all with his Palafin. The power of Iron Thorns. Changing the meta on the daily. I think Iron Thorns looks really cool. It looks amazing. What other ways can players obtain championship points? You have to go to like official events. So like that's basically it. And you have to go to like, you have to go to probably like five or six regionals, two or three internats. That's basically it. Like you have to spend like literally ten to twenty thousand dollars to qualify for worlds. FB baby, we did this take away the rain. This is we're taking the big L. Well, you're introducing Paradox Pokemon check Don Dozo, or will he be just as common? Just as common, I think. It's pay to win. You still have to be good, but like you have to pay to put yourself in the situation to even be able to compete. Hydro Pump into Town Pump is exactly what we thought was gonna happen. We just get a reef and a Garchomp here, and we just go uh you know, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. Pelipper takes a tick of the sandstorm, breaks its potential sash, and we just go drag and claw rock side and win the game. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Is he roaring winners a good one? Yeah, it's fine. It's cool. It has good stats. It has higher stats than all the other um, Paradox Mons for the most part. Doing a rock slide because you don't want to miss. Teeter rock slide, so we just do that. Dude, the Terra. Dude, this Pelipper wants it. Because he wants it all. Or nothing at all. Flying Terra. Couldn't have seen that one coming. Dude, he's about to he's about to go hard. Yeet. Free damage. And Ruck Slide. Our T-Tar outspeeds that Pelipper too. Let's see. So this is this is gonna be a hard one. I kind of want to just bring Volk, bro. I, I see what you're doing over there, and I'm like, I got the Volk. Realistically, though, what do they have that stops this other than fucking wide guard, bro? <laughs> Don't wide guard me, bro. Third time's a charm. 
super sand. I think Talonflame's good here, but I don't know. It feels criminal to not bring my Garchomp to this. Criminal! I feel like I'm committing a crime by not bringing Garchomp, but... <sighs> Sometimes you just don't bring your Garchomp. Let's go. Okay. I mean, it's Rockside City, bro. Let's go. Rook Slide. I'm gonna Thunder Wave the Dragonite. I think it's gonna be more of a problem than I want it to be. Dude, actually, wait, I can just Ice Punch his ass. It's gonna be Inner Focus, right? We can even just Volt Switch it and then bring in. We don't wanna bring in Town Flame yet. We wanna save that in the back. No, there's nothing wrong with Rock Sliding here. I forgot I had Ice Punch on this thing. He's gonna Reflect, but that's fine. Yep. It's probably Inner Focus, but like, we'll see what kind of Dragonite it is. I'm happy that we hit. It's really, really nice that we hit. Is that a crit on the Grim? Yeah! It's a policy? Oh, shit. Abort! Abort mission! Abort! Nope! <laughs> oh, no! Alright, 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 alright. We, we know it's policy, so as long as this hits, we're in a good spot. But, like... Danger! Danger! Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm not safe here! <laughs> Okay, let's think about what we need to do to win then. This EQ will absolutely mess me up. But we have Lycan Rock. I actually think we just go for double rock side. We don't have to double dip anything yet. Rock side here. Rock side here. We don't need a we don't need a tear yet. We should still be out speeding with at least the iron uh thorns here. White screen, go for it. I mean, I can't deal with the screens, so that's wasted. All I have is physical attackers, anyways. So you should be losing the Grim this turn. Yes, really, really nice. We hit those. All right, come on, come on, Dragonite, go down, flinch the Dragonite. That means it was multi scale and Rock Slide. No, no. Okay, we spit the Dragonite. Oh, thank God, Ray Boss down, bro. Yeah. So you can't Thunder Wave me because I'm electric on my uh, Iron Thorns, and you can't Thunder Wave the T Tar because it's Dark Frank Strike. It's so nice. Have you used Cyclos that much in singles? I have a Cyclos R team up on singles on my Patreon. Yes, I've used it a lot. I've used it a lot off stream in singles. You guys can check out that team. It's up on Patreon right now. You can check out the link to find that team right here. Ha. Huh. What is this? Espathra. Okay. Uh, we're just going to rock slide. Double rock slide's fine. Huh? Ha! Doesn't affect T-Tar! Ha ha! Rock side. Grim down. Single target over here. It's probably subbing, right? Oh, the flinch, though! That's really thick, by the way. I want to see if it's lefties. Speed boost, yep. And looks like no lefties. Cool, that's a lot of damage, actually. Is your last one weak to rocks? Oh, ho, ho! dude, I'm doing it, bro. Dude, we out here, though. All about here. This is about time. It's about time to pop off. Get that damage, boys. You can't stop both of us. Let's go! Iron Thorns, double dip that rock, yo! Let's do it. We outspeed this Valk. I don't know if he knows. He could tear the Valk, and that's absolutely fine. Because if you tear a Valk into, like, grass, we have Talonflame. Yeah, it's fine. We have Talonflame. Let's go! We actually still flinch you, too. Rock slide! We actually still outspeed that Espathra, bro. <laughs> big damage. It's big damage on the Espathra. That's what I really like. The double flinch chance is nice. D-Gleam ain't no thing. Do what you want to do. And then Giga Drain. Ow. Ow. You hitting, bro. Ugh. You like you like that Sandstorm giving me, giving me a boost in my special defense stat? Like, chef's kiss. Just gonna hit this damage here. Survey says Rock slide. Almost enough. So I think this is one more turn of sand, and then we're just gonna be able to bring out Talonflame and win the game, basically. 
Yeah, I like this. This is a, this is a good situation to be in. We still have Town Flame and one other Mon in the back too. This they should be faster than me now, so they should be able to go like. Let me think about this realistically. You have Lycan Rock in the back too. That's great. Master and Sand though. Unfort. Yeah. Um, we could just go Protect here. I'm fine with Double Rock Slide. It doesn't really matter. Let's try it. Yo, thank you for the sub! Yo, how is it? It's absolutely flawless, yo. Is that Recover? Good play, I like that. Rock Slide, though. Big damage incoming. You can only get one KO this turn. You can only get one. There's still these dual screens up, by the way. That's the scary thing about this. They go to this slot. Okay, they leave up the T-Tar. We got the... We got the... The job coming in with Town Flame in just a sec. We should be able to just go for a Brave Bird into the uh, Spath and get the KO to finish it off. And then use Lycanroc to 1v1 them in the back. Rock side. Good damage. Like, really help them out with that damage. We can go to the Valk here, too. I don't think there's a really that big of a problem. I don't want to get, like, Protect Baited on Valk, though. T-Tar's back at full. Dude, T-Tar's just chilling out here. Speed boost for days. And this is where Talonflame cleans up in the back. But thank you so much for that sub. Appreciate it, yo. Appreciate the sub. Six months. Welcome to the Metapod Squad. Let's click those rock slides for days. And just go for a big BB baby. Let's go. Who's protecting? Valk. I see you, baby. Oh, no one. Oh, that's it then. That's all she wrote. Talonflame busted. Best Pokemon in the world. That priority. Keep it going. Go into that T-Tar, buddy. See what happens. Oh, dude, T-Tar does not give a shit. Look how thick we are. Yeah, dude, that's fine. Rock slide. And then we just go Brave Bird again. Do it again. I can't believe we actually, like... This guy's had screens up all game, dude. We're just like, dude, you got screens, like, all game? Like, you, you've you had six turn of mitigating double rock slides, and you're still, like, out of Pokemon. Torkoal's good. Yep, Torkoal's in the game. Yo, we take those. Let's go. Talon Flame. I'm, I'm liking these new rules, man. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I like the Rock Slide City. We take these all the way to the bank that we use today it's going to get made into a rental code if you guys want a team to like test around for series 12 with or not series 12 <laughs> series 2 if you want a team to use in series 2 i'll make this a code on patreon there's a lot of other singles teams on there that feature other paradox mons so if you're curious how i like to use some of these paradox mons think about checking out the patreon even the lowest two dollar tier gets access to all the rental teams all the pokey base and stuff like that we're gonna be hosting a tournament for series 2 coming up soon and the new team fixing for series 2 is going to be going up a little bit later next week so Think about checking out the Patreon. If I can get at least one new person on Patreon a day, that's a win for me. Because if I get one, even if I lose two or three, that's still progress being made in, in one direction. So think about checking out the Patreon. And uh, yeah, that's basically, basically it.